Well, I've been asked to speak in the framework of a series entitled The State of Things. Such a title for me suggests a preliminary remark. Strictly speaking, the state of things is a fiction. A fiction is not an imaginary tale. A fiction is a construction of a set of relations between sense and sense, between things that are said to be perceptible and the sense that can be made of those things. A state of things includes the selection of a number of phenomena that are said to be characteristic of our present. Second, the use of an interpretive frame within which they take on their significance. And third, the determination of a set of possibilities and impossibilities deriving from that given and from its interpretation. In that sense, a state of things is a framing of what I've proposed to call a distribution of the sensible a set of relations between the perceptible, the thinkable, and the doable, that defines a common word, defining thereby the way in which and the extent to which this or that class of human beings takes part in that common word. Every description of a state of things gives a major part to time. There is a simple reason for this. A state of things presents itself as an objective given, discarding over possible states of things.